All right, Amanda, well, back here in the Bay Area, today we're beginning our celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month with our special coverage, Una Familia, meaning one family. So we're honoring the contributions and rich histories of our Latino communities. So Consul Luis Fernando Carranza Cifuentes, Consul of Guatemala, is joining us this morning. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so first, uh, it is El Día de la Independencia for Guatemala. So tell us a little bit um, about how you guys are celebrating and tell us a little bit about the history when it comes to Independence Day. Well, it's been quite a busy week for us, and uh, we usually celebrate uh, the Independence Day with the community of Guatemalans here okay. in the Bay Area. Last weekend, for instance, I was invited to Petaluma for a, best, uh, for a fair that was okay. organized for Guatemalans. We brought some artists and food from Guatemala to the community there, mm -hmm. and also invited to uh, go to Sacramento as well to have a party and to get together with the Guatemalan community. As an official, the only official activity we have it today at the city hall we have the raising of the guatemalan flag at 11:30. Wow. you are all invited if you want to come along and uh, but uh, the independence of guatemala was a, an act of a, a peaceful act i would say we didn't have any war we as you know we got our independence from the kingdom of spain mm -hmm. in 1821 and it was a, a, a chain of events uh, when, when Spain was actually decaying, the, the kingdom of Spain was decaying, the independence of Mexico, some of the movements in, of independence in South America, mm -hmm. that created all the conditions for the independence in Guatemala. You know, Guatemala was part of the uh, uh, vice royalty of yeah. New Spain, mm -hmm. and this is what we have in common with, with uh, California. Guatemala and California were part of the vice royalty of, uh, of the New Spain. And Guatemala, in, in its turn, was also the captaincy general of Central America. Yeah, that's you know that's always good to be learning uh, about all the communities here. Now, my parents are from Guatemala, um, so I was looking at some of the photos on how they were uh, celebrating Independence Day. But just another question: What would you like people to know here in the Bay Area about Guatemala or about Guatemaltecos here? Well, the Guatemalans here in the Bay Area are a, a thriving community. They also contribute to the economy. They have uh, good jobs. They are hardworking people. Uh, but what we have in difference uh, with other uh, cultures is our heritage, our Mayan heritage, which is mm -hmm. quite uh, present in, in, you see the textiles here. Yeah. These are uh, the, a good example of what yeah. uh, the Mayan heritage is in Guatemala is present. You see this mm -hmm. everywhere in my country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I have my tias and tios sending me videos of how they're celebrating in Guatemala. So um, definitely love to learn a lot about this. And I, one last question. Can you tell us where in the Bay Area we can find Conacionales? Well, the Guatemalans are pretty much everywhere in the Bay Area. Okay. But you might find some uh, groups of uh, Guatemalans, depending on where they are. Some mm -hmm. of the Western Highlands, they actually go to San Rafael. Uh, if you want to uh, try some uh, Eastern uh, uh, Guatemalan food, probably you have to go to Oakland or to Richmond. So you find Guatemalans pretty much yeah. everywhere in the area. So it's very easy to probably find someone in your way. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it and we always love to learn. Thank you for having me. And Jocelyn, thank you so much for sharing all these stories. It's so nice to learn about all of this. Well, a battle